So what's up, what's going on, loco? Not for nothing, man. I seen this guy's car, man. Wheels are all fucked up. Not for no disrespect. He got money. He got girls. His car is fucked up. His car was messed up. What's going on in New York, loco? Yo, the weather's real funny. It's raining sometimes. Sometimes it's not. Then it get cold and hot for five days. And then cold. Zoom. Like that. Like that. And then they got the COVID. I don't like it. What's up with the COVID though, bro? This is not real. Everybody wearing masks. They walk around. They give you legal to rob people. Now I gotta wear. I can wear a mask. It's nothing like that. Really. <laughs> Mira, loco. <laughs> um, <coughs> lately, <coughs> recently, somebody told me that you uh ran into Forrest Whitaker and he gave you some advice, man. What was his advice to you? To me, it was m more valuable than anything. He said, Look, uh, she's scared. It was like from that movie, The, the Fucking Species. Species, you know. What? Species, what, what was his, what was his, his advice about, you know, like, when, what was his advice for you? He told me, Loco, you my friend. Walk hard. That's it, man. I, I, I'm still walking hard. My feet hurt. They hurt him, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, your boy Mac mean true story. All stories don't be true, but this one definitely is. All right, and um, today we got we got my brother up here, right? Not a lot of times I get a chance to 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 um really build and and politic with people I love and respect. You know what I mean? On a personal level, a lot of guys like I did I did meet over the years or whatever. Um, they ain't put the time in that I I put in with a lot of other cats that was like in jail with me, X, Y, Z or whatever, right? Now KB is one, one of the Bronx Giants that I met while I was in jail. I know a lot about KB before I met him because his name preceded him, you know what I'm saying? And we just automatically clicked when we met up and shit like that in jail. Now you fast forward years later, a decade plus, we both home, you know what I'm saying? Both healthy, doing our thing, you know what I mean? And I want to get my boy up on the camera, you know what I'm saying? So um, what's up KB, tell him, tell, uh, uh, introduce yourself bro. Hey, yo, man, um, KB from the BX, man, you know, and um, this brother right here, Mac Mean, you know how people say, you're one of the realest niggas I ever met in my life, but real talk, you know what I'm saying, one of the realest niggas I ever met in my life, it's real, you know, hey. everybody don't get that, you know what I mean, most hey. niggas, I say the realest niggas I met in my life, the niggas is, they dead now, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, and that's a fact. But we here. Let me let me ask you something, right? Um, how much time did you? How much time did you do? It? And I don't want. I, I hate to start the interview off like that, but let's get it. Let's go from there, and then we are gonna work our way back. So, how much time did you do? And when? What did you? When, like, what was your your time like or experience? Now? Well, I did all together. I did twelve years. I got a, um six to eighteen. You know what I mean? Out of six to eighteen, and they you know they CR'd me straight up. What's now, the CR for people that don't know? Well, they, they, you, well, a CR is like, if you got six to 18, you got to do what? 85%. I did 85% of the time. CR for people that don't know is a conditional release. It's just release and, yeah. Yeah. You no. required to do like, uh, when, when you do, when you do your CR, you're doing a big portion of your time. I don't know exactly how much it is, but yeah. it's, it's like 85%. A lot. Like yeah. It's at least. Yeah. It's at least. Let me see. Yeah. It's a lot. Yeah. I don't remember the houses and all that, cause I, I did, you know, I got out the next day. You know what I'm saying? The next day we, we was gone. But my man's and them told me, don't take off your sneakers. Oh, them shits is gone when you look at your bed tomorrow. And 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 peeping. I've I've been six one since I was like seventeen. I've been this. I've been the same height since I was seventeen. 
the niggas that took a, they took my sneakers. He said, and I wore size twelve. So these niggas was like five three, two of them. One of them, each one of them had on one sneaker. <laughs> had a pair of them motherfucking patakis under my bed. My man said, I told you. You know what I'm saying? You should have kept you should have kept your sneakers on and went to sleep. So I went in there. We we some got air it. Cotches, some air cotches. Yeah, I picked these niggas up by their feet and took my sneakers back. But you know what I mean? All right. So when when you did your six to eighteen, what what year was that when you came through? Um, I, 1994. Okay. What was the temperature right down when you got there? Like what outside? Okay, you got the what people say on the street or how right the zone is and shit like that but what, what was your experience when you actually went there okay B? it was um everything they said but it wasn't as amplified as the way they said it because you know motherfuckers you know was scared the whole time they did you know initially going around because all the niggas know to hear the stories and all that but the temperature was Puerto Ricans against blacks. Simple. Puerto Rican and, and and why do you think that would like like okay? The, I know the reason why. Okay, tell me why. The reason why is because at one time blacks was in power. It was more of us than them. And and you know, some 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 dudes was violating, you know what I mean? And putting the pressure on on, on the Latin cats. So when when the when the shoe got on the other foot, they did the same exact thing. The 90, same exact thing. Ninety four. I ain't gonna hold you, man. Shit was, shit was. It was crazy with the Spanish dudes. Crazy. So if, you, if you, you know what? I'm I'm gonna keep it real. They was running a lot of shit. It was weird. It was almost like because you, when you come yeah. through earlier than that, and you know, like in earlier years, and now you come back like in ninety four. Mm -hmm. It's just. Is this Puerto Rican? Now, how you being from the Bronx? How did that affect you? Like when you came? Through? Nah, it, honestly speaking, it didn't affect me much because I grew up with Puerto Ricans. I, I mean, that's that's not, that's a regular thing. That's a Bronx I, thing. On the east side of Harlem, and, and, and the transition wasn't nothing. I went from mm -hmm. the east side of Harlem to the Bronx. It was like you know, I didn't move nowhere. It's you know it, that shit is regular to us. You know what I mean? We we grew up around Puerto Ricans. I got Puerto Rican family. My family, daughter's right. half Puerto Rican. You know it, the shit is. I, I didn't I didn't see, I didn't understand it. The shit confused me. You know what I mean? That's what it did to me too. So what would you see? Like what, what was some of the stuff that you would see going on in it at the time? Well, <laughs> first thing that happened to me was, uh, it it, it it didn't happen to me, but it was like. Dudes was on some. This uh, first thing I heard about was the Nietas. Ooh. That's the first thing I heard. Fast. I'm like, what the fuck is that? Now, see, they was letting them wear the beads. Remember, they was letting them wear the beads and all that shit back mm -hmm. in the early days. Mm -hmm. They had the beads on. So I'm like, you know, I'm thinking, shit, nigga, I need my Zulu beads. But anyway, um, the brother, they was telling me what it was about and all that shit, where it started. You know, what, I'm, build, what building was you in? Um, what building was I, you at in? At first, I went to the Bronx house. All right, me too. Yeah, I went to the Bronx house. That's the, that's what, what everybody else call that the county, because that's what it is, Bronx County. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They, I, they call it the county. But uh, I went to the mall on that shit now. Yeah, I didn't stay. I didn't stay there long. I seen um. A dude, he didn't want to be, he knew he had static with some Spanish dudes on the island. He didn't want to leave the Bronx house. He in the cell, he going to tell me, hold me down. So I'm like, yo, I think he about to, you know, hurt something. This nigga, he, he ripped the shirt and all that. I'm like, oh, shit, he, get, he about to get busy. He ripped the shirt <laughs> and climbed up on the cell. So I, oh, man, this is going to be some Tarzan shit. I think, oh, shit. You know what I mean, he about to come down off the. You know, yeah. he, he going to Jimmy <laughs> I snook or something. He called it a night. He super fly snook at himself. The nigga yeah. put the thing around his neck and jump. <laughs> Bang. And he mm. going to say, help me. You know, I left him there, right? Oh, boy. Yeah. They, had a, they had a catwalk in that Bronx house, man. That cat, yeah. that Bronx that Bronx house looked medieval. That's, that catwalk is what saved his ass. The police was walking on that catwalk. Because everybody in the cell was like, yo. Yeah. No, mind your business. That's the first thing you learn when you get in there. Mind your business. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. So from the Bronx house, what building you went to? 
from the Bronx house, I went to the boat. Um, yeah. um, MTF. The yeah, shit on Burn C. Baines on um on Hallett Burn, Street. Burn C. Baines. Burn C. Baines. Yeah. That stinking ass fucking boat. Funky joint. But you know what I mean? Um. And for, it, hold on, hold on. For people that don't know, the boat is really a boat. Like when they used to say that you go on the boat. Yeah. It's like a barge sitting on the water and shit. Like you go on, you, you, you cross over. Yeah. It's like a little small, like maybe about eight feet. Between the boat and the and, and the and land. Yeah. Then, you, then you on that shit, it's all rocking and all that, yeah. you know what I'm saying? All cold and shit. And yo, ironically, this is crazy. I was on that joint for 17 months. Everybody asked me, how you do it? I, I had once you know, once you get acclimated to, you know, yeah, old dudes school you on what it is, you know what I mean? You hollering at them joints in there mm. and you you figuring yeah. it out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. The boat once once you once you figure the out here. Once you figure the boat out, I cut. I was a barber in the boat too. Yeah. Um. Um. Once you once you figure out how to move in the boat, it's sweet. You good? Yeah. You Gucci. You Gucci. So I I was I I had um, all my boys. Everybody did something. My man's worked um in the gym. My other dude worked in the, in the um intake. Two of my man's worked the intake. I worked in the barber shop. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't no mess hall because they brought the food to you. You know what I'm saying? They, they, um, they had, when I was there, they still had the fed dudes there. The fed dudes was working in the kitchen and shit like that. They was like on the cell side. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because we was all in dorms. And it, but it was crazy. You I ain't feel? saying that funky ass boat too long. It, I, I, it was, and now imagine being in a joint with 50, you understand, 50, 50 dudes. And it's a dorm wide open. Yeah. Behind the glass, yeah. you know, it's behind the glass too. Wide open. Thumbs in the glass, and then the day the day room is out here. You know, anyway, the the, the the thing was, I rocked that 17 months. After that, they shot me to um straight to the three building. Three building. Straight to the three building. Now, when I get there, that was a whole. No, that's when. Okay, down now the uh the bloods. It's starting to come into their own. Yeah. Yeah, it did spark it did spark it this at this start from 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 C seventy three. Yeah, they coming into their own. That's why and a lot of cats too, just because I was there, a lot of people thought that I oh you he blooded. No. Seventy three had a lot of flow. Seventy three had a lot of flow. Was, a, lot, a lot of shit that was coming through when we went to the courts was coming from seventy three. Yeah, you're right. That was one of the first spots where they was claiming bloods at. Yeah, uh, and and seventy three, and then then HGM and Bing. Yeah, and it like was them. it was crazy because it wasn't that many, but the, the the dudes that was standing up, you understand? Yeah, they stood up, and you know, heavy, made it heavy. Diff- yeah, they made it difficult for a lot of dudes. You know what I'm saying? And 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 the crazy thing is. It was a lot of Muslim brothers that was that was helping brothers, you know, holding brothers down too. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They were helping people out. Yeah. You know? But it was, you know, that's what we call the uh renegade Muslims. You know what I mean? <laughs> Aqua yeah, the- I, I, I with the Glock. Yeah, yeah. I, I had a lot of blood friends, I ain't gonna lie. Right. You know what I'm saying? I had a lot of Crip friends too, though. I had a lot of Latin King friends too. All of them is from uh, all of them that I knew was from the Bronx. Yeah. It was you know what though? Brooklyn. I knew some Brooklyn cats, so but the main majority of them, even on the Spanish side with the um, Puerto Rican side, you know what I'm saying, the Latin side, yeah. it was a lot of them. They was from the Bronx. Yeah, yeah. You had some hitters, you had some hitters. We, it's always gonna be a debate, you know what I mean? Like when it comes down to Brooklyn and the Bronx. Yeah. But I, I tell you one thing, coming um um yeah, but when I was talking about it on, on the interview, I mean um video I did before. He's right. talking about people, who, you know, who was oppressing who, and we all know that, like, really, you know, what I'm saying, like, when we came through, yeah. I ain't gonna say that the Spanish niggas wasn't oppressing niggas. You had a lot of Spanish niggas that was cutting niggas that didn't have nothing to do with nothing. Yes, yeah. they, they was just on live time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My man, Wemo was like that. You know what I'm saying? And what's so crazy is that I used to go to court with Wemo. Me and him would be cool as a motherfucker, and then next thing you know, we get inside the cell. He won't cut somebody, and it's a black dude. You know what I'm saying? Huh? Immediately, yeah, but it was always like Wemo, like 
some things, sometimes, right? You never know why cats is motivated to be running out there and be busting a gun like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it be something that happened with them that they end up holding a, a, a vendetta for. So I don't we don't no. we don't like in New York, you know, we don't start like that. We don't start hating mm-hmm. the other side. We go to jail and and, and that shit happen because on the block it's not like that. You know what I mean? No. It's not like that. No. Imagine, imagine we having a, a fight. We more likely have a fight over a basketball game as opposed to you being yeah, you know, as fans, opposed fans to on being Puerto Rican and, and 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 I'm black and we going on, we getting it on. Because I, don't, I wasn't then eighty. Me neither. I didn't you know see. What I'm I heard about it. But yeah, I, I heard about that shit, but I wasn't there to see none of that. Only thing I seen was what was in front of me. Yeah. So, so um, not to beat that horse again. Yeah. Um, um, it it. It's it was both sides. Whoever got the numbers, the other motherfuckers get it. They went. They went. Yeah. Whoever got the numbers went. That's that's bottom line. Period. Unless, unless you got some spectacular dudes with them knives, like your man Drama, Brave Dave, Brave Dave. God bless his dad. Yeah. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Yo, we used to, we used, we used to be on some like who could get the flyers like. We was on some other shit with it. Like when we met up, it was on some who could get the flies and who could who could holler at them, them you know them joints in there. Like you know what I mean? Yo, he had one in HDM. I'm gonna tell you something. Yeah. When, when drama came to us, right? Mm-hmm. And four block. Now Ron, Ace already knew drama from up north, and Ace used to always tell me like, "Yo, that nigga was in Attica." Now you know what's so crazy about? I never knew. <laughs> I never knew that that was Brave Dave from back in the days. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just knew him as Dave from 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 River Park Towers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So so this nigga right here, today idolized my nigga Barney. You know what I'm saying? Facts. So once once um um Brave Dave found out that me and Barney was like we yeah. was real tight. Yeah. Everybody did. Everybody anybody idolized that cat right there. Like yeah. Real, yeah. Now check this out. Now, now, um, drama. This nigga, mm-hmm. he used to dress every day like he was about to go home. You know what I'm saying? Like he, he be like, like every day he was like, "I'm going home today." Type shit, right? Yeah. He, he had the CO joint. What happened was he was smashing the CO chick, right? Yeah. And then he went home and shit it on her. <laughs> and then he came back and he was trying to make up with her. Right. Yeah. That's when he's banging his waves to the side. And Boom! Then, on, the, on, the, on the Malcolm, on the Malcolm X shit. I mean, yeah, um, the Elijah said, Muhammad's. Yeah. Then he said, "Fuck it," and let, let and, and and pushed him back. Made a little afro. Got the tape. Yeah, the little afro. That's right. Yeah, yeah, Check yeah. Check this out. So, so he had. I forgot her name, but that was his chick. She used to work the the gate on six block. You know what I'm saying? And she used to walk us to the yard. And that's to to- the type of time he was on. He 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 schooled me to you know what I mean how to how to finagle that. You know what I mean? And, and Jama, was, Jama was a straight up playboy and, and, and a fucking instigator. Yeah. Because he was an instigator like a motherfucker. He was like that nigga um AWAX from um um Minister Society. He just wanted to see the drama happen. <laughs> Who, but, um, um what's his name? MC8? MC8. He was yeah. like MC8. He was that one, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, like he, was, he would it's... walk around smiling all day with the drama, you know what I'm saying? And, and always like um scheming and shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. That, yeah. that that was a that was a that was a hurtful one when he he, got, he didn't have no fear. He was like did, comfortable in jail. Yeah, he didn't have a problem with saying people thought that, like you Just know, when he put on when he put on when he when he put on a movie when he make a movie, he made a movie because he had to. It wasn't yeah. like he, he wasn't just like a, a straight shit starter. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He'd get at a nigga slick like. You know what I'm saying? Nah, it, that, that nigga was a manipulative yeah, little. Exactly. I, remember, I remember when that motherfucker came through, man. That mm-hmm. nigga, that nigga, he ain't had no clothes and none of that shit. He had this one pair of brown Tim boots and yeah. and you seen it in his eyes. You seen his wheels turning. He wanted to rob niggas and all that, but Ace and Ron Duke wasn't having it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And they <laughs> like when he first came to the block. Yeah. Ron Duke, Ron Duke was like, "No, we not letting that motherfucker in here. He's gonna cut someone." <laughs> You fucking cut someone. Ace, like, man, that's my little man. And yeah. drama on the gate the whole time for like two hours. Like, come on, Ron, dude, let me in. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, like yeah, with yeah. his bag, he have nothing. He just came back through. This yeah, is, he was fresh. Yeah. He, he just came back through and shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So 
And yeah, he instigated a lot of shit, man. A lot of shit. He drama's the one to show me how to fucking rip metal out the ground and make bangers with it. Ooh. Ooh. You know, you know now we not I just well, let's 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 get this this straight before we even go any further. We're not glorifying this shit. It was just the things that we went through and we seen, you know, that was that was happening. And it's not glorification, but it's definitely a walk down memory lane, man, because it was it was we can it talk was, about whatever the fuck we want to talk about, KB. Yeah. You wanna know why? Because these niggas fact. these niggas make these niggas make movies, lies, bullshit. You know what I'm saying? They and and and, and yeah. they straight up not telling the truth. What well, they say, they talking about they know somebody because nigga dead, oh, man. Yeah. Drama was my boy. That was my baby boy. You know what I'm saying? Good now. dude. Good dude. All around. Like, you know, when those circumstances, man, listen, man, everybody had to turn into an animal. I mean, I, that wasn't the way I was. You know what I'm saying? He was an animal. I wasn't who I was. He was an animal. Y'all niggas is animals. All y'all niggas. Yo, Yo, listen. We, I am Mike. Brave oh Dave. Listen, listen. I am Mike. Brave Dave. Paulie, you saying some from names? The Bronx, all in the same block at the same time. Big Will, I'm um 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 Mike Brock, Mike, Mike Brock from Fortieth, um Ron Du, yeah Ace, Ace. No. oh my God, sincere from from Eden Wall, yeah you know Eden, Wall. Eden Wall, Eden Wall, he don't say big up Eden Wall. Oh, all in, look 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 Ty Guns, yeah. Bay, God bless the dead. Like we all was in the same fucking block. And guess what? Our block was so ill that mm -hmm. that we used to get every five weeks when you don't get no cuttings and none of that, you yeah. get a festival. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Hold on. You was there when 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 Wu Tang and Pun and them came? For the concert? Yeah. Yeah. I was there. Okay. No, I I was there when Wu Tang when they came, they came to I, when, when I was in North Facility with Dizzy. Right. This is okay. later. I went to North. I went back to North. What happened was, I end up, I end up catch. I, I left HDM. Yeah, you, you got it. Yeah. I left HDM. Then went to the Beacon. End yeah. up cut, cutting some nigga in Six Block. All right. They moved me out of the Beacon and moved me to North Facility. And then when I went to North Facility, that's when the Wu came through. It was the Wu. Um, Crazy Sam was there. Um, yeah. um, Fat Joe. Pun. That's Pun. What Pun, that's that's my dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it wasn't all the Wu Tang either. It was like four of them. Just because I'm I, I'm from the.